Are you ready for a day of pure tropical bliss? Well, pack your bags and join us because just a short ferry ride from Cancun lies the hidden gem of the Caribbean, Isla Mujeres. Often overlooked by tourists, this tiny island is the perfect escape from the hustle and bustle of Cancun. And the best part? You don't need to spend weeks here to fully experience its beauty. Sometimes the best trips are just for a day. Travelers, welcome, welcome to, to Isla, Isla Mujeres. Mujeres. Hello travelers, our adventures in the Riviera Maya continues and today we're in a beautiful place just in front of Cancun. It's called Isla Mujeres and it's known for its turquoise water, white sandy beaches and laid back Caribbean vibe. Today we're going to show you how to get to Isla Mujeres, what to eat in Isla Mujeres and what to do in Isla Mujeres. We have a lot ahead of us so let's get started. Vámonos. So right now we're in Puerto Juarez and this is the place that you have to take the ferry in order to go to Isla Mujeres. There's another like ferry terminal that is next to the zona hotelera but this is the one that we're taking right now yeah buying the tickets was super easy round trip is 28 dollars and 42 cents so we're ready to go man there's tons of people everybody wants to go to isla mujeres this morning while we ride over let's talk a little about the island Isla Mujeres is a small, narrow island located just off the eastern coast of Mexico's Yucatán Peninsula. In fact, it's so small that you can pretty much drive from one end to the other in 30 minutes. The ferry ride itself is around 20 to 30 minutes, and we recommend getting a seat up top to enjoy the breeze. There's even a guitarist up top who helps set the mood for the exciting day ahead. Gracias. Gracias. Because we're eating to breakfast in Cancun, we had to take it over here. Luckily, we found this place that is just a couple of blocks from the ferry terminal. It's called Cafe Mogagua. What a fun word to say. And what I love is that the menu is huge, so you can really find something for everybody here. For example, I got breakfast burrito going Tex-Mex here. All right. And for me, I have huevos motuleños. So it's very Mexican. Yeah, what is that? Anyway, I've never seen this. The peas on the dish are throwing me off. Oh, this is a dish from the peninsula de Yucatan, from a place called Motul. So this is a fried tortilla, and they put egg, then they put sauce, and also they put um, peas yeah. and bananas, fried bananas. This is awesome too because we have a huge day ahead of us and actually after this we're going to try to rent some form of transportation to get around. That's right, because we already got a scooter in Cozumel. I think right now we're going for the golf car. But we're gonna let you guys know. Yeah, so uh, we'll finish this up and we'll meet you guys at our next spot. Provecho. Oh, we're stuck in this traffic jam, Martin. What was the cost in the end? The cost, they wanted to charge 1,200 for an entire day, but because we wanted only for two hours, it was 700. If you're paying cash though, it was 100 pesos less. So it should be 600, but we pay with my card. It is what it is. We arrived to Punta Sur, as the name says, at the southern part of the island. And over here, there's also uh, one place that they charge you 100 pesos to enter. If you have your ID and you're from Quintana Roo, they charge you less. And if you live in Isla Mujeres, it's for free. But it's not the case for us. So they charge us 100 pesos. And over here, there's some ruins, also some cool statues. But I think the best thing about here is the view. And that is very windy, I like it. <laughs> Punta Sur is home to some Mayan ruins, the most notable of which is the Temple of Itchel, who was the Mayan goddess of fertility and the moon. It was actually in this place where the Spanish found a variety of female figures, hence why this island is called Isla Mujeres, or Woman Island. There's not much left of the temple today, but contemporary artists have developed a sculpture park with 23 pieces that pay tribute to the Mayan civilization. 
Punta Sur was awesome. Definitely a good place to go at the beginning of your time here at Isla Mujeres. That is correct. And it's also useful because you can drive one way of the island and then come back to the other one so you can see both. Yeah, so we're gonna see if the east side does it better. That's what they back. say, yeah? <laughs> we'll let you know, we'll be the judge of that. Okay, we returned the car and let me tell you guys, yes, in the east side of the island, it's better to drive, it's beautiful, it's gorgeous. Yeah, I think it was also a little bit quicker. It was super cool too because we saw people stopping along the way on little beaches and that's the way to do it. Uh, now two hours to rent the golf cart was just enough time to be able to see the south. It was good for us, but if you're taking your time and you want to stay over there and just stopping by, I recommend you to rent more time. Two but, hours was good for us. Yeah, exactly. Now we are back here in the center, the, I guess this is the downtown. In fact, this is the Palacio Municipal, so this is the center center. Yeah, and everything else we're gonna do today is by foot, so uh, let's get going. Vámonos. After all that driving, we were craving some popsicles. It's been so long since I've had one of these. And we stumbled across this place called Paleteria y Neveria La Michoacana. Their popsicles look amazing. We got watermelon and Martin, you got mango with- Mango con chile. Oh my gosh, so good. Perfect thing on a hot day like today. Ooh. Holy Toledo, that's good. which is where we're probably gonna spend the rest of the day. The waves here are a lot more calm and it literally looks like one of those wave pools you would find in an amusement park, like that perfect of water. And of course all the families are out because it's the weekend. We're gonna find the best beach club area where we can face ourselves, have a good meal, and relax. El sueño. <laughs> As we say, this is Isla Mujeres, that is Woman Island. So I hope Juliana, doesn't get jealous if I get a lot of attention over here. <laughs> oh my god, you wish. We found a beach club. We'll leave the name down below once we figure out the name. <laughs> what was the cost? The cost was 700 pesos for the two uh, thingamajigs and the other thingamajig. 700 pesos uh, till 5 o'clock and you have to pay in cash yeah. and then um, after that it's everything that we're going to eat or drink. Yeah and we came here by one and the beach is already very packed so kind of just got what we said. I recommend you I recommend you to arrive before uh, 10 or 9 so you have a good spot. All right I'm gonna go swim. You gonna come join me? Oh yeah as soon as I put my swimming suit I can go over there. Let's go. Otherwise it has to be naked. Oh. We're gonna find out the name of the place, and the place was Chi Chi's and Charlie's. Great name, great name. <laughs> and it, the beach front was amazing. Like the the water, you're gonna enjoy it. I enjoy it. You were enjoying it. I was doing body surfing and living my Pisces dreams. <laughs> I, I think we have like um, we have that on, on camera. Oh God, that is incriminating evidence, Martin. <laughs> All right, but, um, it's beautiful. Now we know why everybody wants to come to Playa Norte. It's beautiful and gorgeous. Oh my gosh, and it was the perfect, it was literally the perfect beach too because there was no rocks. It, there's some areas that are low enough so that kids can go swimming, some areas that are higher so that adults can go body surfing. Yeah, but the restaurant that we ate at, it wasn't the best service or the best food. Normally, whenever we go to a beach, we always order the same, that is? Coconut shrimp. 
and shrimp ceviche. So we know the stuff. Yes. And over here it wasn't the best taste and it wasn't the best service of the world. So, but regardless, we have such a great time. Now, overall thoughts on Isla Mujeres. I was out in the water and I heard some ladies next to me talking. They're from Iowa and they come here every year and they stay for a whole week, rent a golf cart for the whole week and have an absolute blast. I've always thought of this place as a day trip destination. It never occurred to me that we could stay here for a whole week. That's right. Yeah, I think it's a different, a different crowd that the one that you're gonna find in Cancun is more like relaxation type of environment. But yeah, we should do that for one we week. We should. And you know, we don't have much time left today, but there is a, a bar down here with some swings that looks very enticing that I would really like to check out. <laughs> I hear it's dangerous, but we'll see. <laughs> Let's go. In reality, the swings are cute, but you can't get much height on these things because you run into the bar. I was expecting playground levels of height. This, this place probably is very popular at night, but for us it's only having a drink before coming back to that good. Yeah, waiting to catch the ferry. Overall, I think Isla Mujeres is a must if you're visiting Cancun. I mean, why not? It's just a short ferry ride away. We had such a fun time exploring here and we're not done yet exploring the Riviera Maya. No, no, we have a whole series exploring all the surrounding areas of Cancun, all through the Riviera Maya. Plus we have a killer guide to Cancun, one of our best works yet. We highly recommend checking it out to get a ton of tips for visiting this area. But not only in Cancun, also, the surrounding areas, we have an incredible series in the Riviera Maya. So we hope you stay tuned for that. So long. Travel well. And make the world your neighborhood. See you guys next time. Bye. The best way to support us as we make these videos is to subscribe and leave a comment so this video can reach a wider audience. You can also check out our Buy Us a Coffee link in the description to contribute directly to helping us upgrade our gear. And don't forget to check out our other social media sites and our Spanish channel, Bitácora de Viajero, where we make these exact same videos in Spanish.